alcohol now it's designer drugs how do we ever get ahead of that bubble and start to make a real difference what's it going to take i know funding is a big part of it but how do we actually put that money on target to see results that then draw more funding that's that's the key with government funding is to show those early results to start building on those successes and miss hopkins you talked about some successes that you've had how do we actually get that message out we've demonstrated the results mm -hmm. that i'm unaware of a prevention program that has been tremendously successful and when i hear the oh, i understand there's no magic bullet there is no magic bullet and i think at the moment some of the programs that provide the best data is first of all two levels of prevention the primary prevention for everybody in the schools for example mm -hmm. has been you know something that's there and then the second level for people we identify at risk and for example that starts with children whose parents are already you know using drugs right and my personal preference would be to start with the people at risk uh, as being i've seen a good prevention program but i don't have a magic prevention program Ms. Hopkins? I was saying earlier that there have been a number of pilot programs that have been tested and have demonstrated good evidence, but there's never been any continuity to those programs, <clears throat> or that the investment in those programs have, like I said earlier, have been short term. Mm -hmm. So we do have the demonstration, we do have the evidence. There's a number of journal articles, if that's the type of evidence that you're looking for, or that is necessary that speak to the success of Sioux Lookout Northern Ontario types of programs. We have the programs from the Drug Utilization Prevention and Promotion Program that didn't you know, get sustained long term. Um, you know, the youth treatment programs who, the residential treatment programs who do also have good data but have limited resources to make the difference that they could. For example, with that network of resource, they could be a part of the solution in supporting youth when they go home if there were added resources for uh, web-based mental health services okay. yeah. or social media-based services. We don't have that capacity right now um, to reach youth. We have the implementation of a brand new helpline, which mm -hmm. is fantastic, but it's not enough. We still need to keep going. So a lot of it is the continuity of continuity. Uh, I understand your concern with with project by project, year by year funding. You never do get that critical mass that lets you start to roll towards the finish line to show that you can right. actually do that. And and I think one of the things that 